What's going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog. So today's gonna be a bit of a different vlog. I'm gonna be doing some maintenance on the G37. We're gonna be doing an oil change today. Um, I ended up selling my winter beater, so now I'm gonna be pulling this thing out. Um, probably didn't pick the best day to pull it out. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So yeah, lots of snow on the ground. But to be fair enough, this thing does have winter tires on it right now. Uh, honestly, I could have probably driven it this season too. It wasn't too bad. The snow wasn't that bad either. But yeah, so we're going to be getting this thing ready, hit the road, and we'll get to an oil change done. So, all right guys, so some of the stuff you guys are going to need is your oil. So 5W30, I'm going to be running Mobile One. I'm going to firm uh, ultra synthetic oil filter. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket to get off the panel underneath the car and then you'll need a 14 mil for the actual oil drain bolt and you guys will need something to drain it in you'll need a funnel I'm gonna be just using my ramps you could jack it up Alright guys, so don't forget before you remove it, start moving your car to uh, disconnect the, the charger if you have it hooked up. Alright guys, so now you want to line up your ramps and drive your car up the ramps or have it jacked up and put it up on some jack stands. Alright guys, so once you guys have the car up, jacked up, you'll take a look from the front of the car. You're gonna go underneath. You're gonna see there's gonna be three 10 millimeter socket uh, screws that you have to remove to get the splash shield off. And then once the splash shield it's taken off, you'll see the oil filter and drain plug exposed right there. So let's get that guy off. All right, guys. So once you have the, the bolts taken off, you guys can see the oil drain bolt and the oil filter right there. Might be a bit hard to see. So you're gonna have to have something hold down the guard while you uh, drain the oil and uh, take off the filter. Let's get at it. All right guys, so once you guys have the little guard taken off, make sure you guys have your uh, drain pan ready and then take your 14 millimeter socket and we're gonna remove the the drain plug and all the oil will drain out. Before you guys do that just make sure you guys take off the oil cap here on the top just so that the airflow you know, goes through it's a lot, a lot easier for all the oil to to drain out. All right let's do it. Alright guys, so now we're going to go and install the new filter. So it's always a good idea to kind of just compare 
uh, what they look like. And make sure when you guys remove the, the old oil filter that this little um, seal is still attached. Sometimes it gets left on the car, so make sure you guys take that off. So yeah, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put just a little bit of the new oil and just lubricate the inside of this filter so it's not sucking in just uh, nothing. It'll be sucking in some of the new oil. Let's do that now. So I'm just gonna dip my finger in some new oil and just start lubricating. Just like that. All right, and now it's ready to be installed. Okay. All right, guys. So there's the drain, drain plug right there, and then the filter is just gonna go right up there. All right, guys. So now the oil filter is on, and now we're just gonna. Tighten up the drain bolt with our 14 mil. And you don't want to tighten it too much. You're gonna have to take it off for your next oil change. That's pretty good. And just make sure you clean up all the oil around the, the car or around the drain plug and filter. Now we're gonna reinstall the splash shield that's underneath. So this is just held up by the four. Um, 10 millimeter sockets. Okay, so now it's time to uh, fill up the car with some new oil. Uh, I always use, uh, recommend using a funnel and get oil all over the inside of your car. And just make sure you double check with your dip, dipstick after the car is on level ground and then you'll be able to tell if you need to top up a bit or if you have too much oil in there. All right.